Today, we're back in my survival world, where last episode we made this amazing hospital build to cure zombie villagers. So my plan was to make a villager trading hall today, but then I realized something much more important. Our kingdom is just about filled up, so today I have a really crazy idea. So I'm thinking about potentially expanding our kingdom. Let me explain. I thought that when the new update comes out, 1.18, we're gonna have to move far away. After all, there's gonna be new mountains, new caves, just all this new generation that I want to go explore personally. But the other day during Minecraft Live, Mojang announced they're gonna spawn the new caves underneath your existing bedrock. So if I'm down here in my mine, I just go mine straight down to bedrock like this, all this bedrock is going to turn into deep slate, which is mineable. But anyways, the point of my story is that we don't need to move anymore. We can stay in the kingdom even longer. So I figured it'd be fun to expand the kingdom and build more. Cause I mean, after all, I planned for the kingdom to be totally done by 1.18, but now we can do more. So maybe like somewhere over here or over here, we're gonna expand the kingdom walls and just build more. And I'm super excited about that. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of bummed to think, hey, we're almost done with the whole kingdom. You know, the thing I've spent my entire Minecraft career building, it's almost done and that's depressing. Let's investigate out over this way towards the tree house and my custom jungle. The walls go right, oh. Hello? Oh, my train of thought's gone, thanks to you, strange tree man. But yeah, the kingdom walls actually separate the kingdom from the treehouse, but what if we actually connected the treehouse and the jungle into part of the kingdom. Like maybe here along the water, the wall could come like straight this way and go around the island? Only got one firework, man. Okay, do this one, one take, one take. All right, um, I, I, um, um, I don't know what to say. Uh, uh, well, I failed my one take, but the point is it'd be sick to build out over here and over here and just along the beach, it'd be amazing. So let's get to planning on that. I'm gonna do that right now. So this is the wall that has to go, but this tower here could be like the, oops, this could be like, the build off point. So instead of building off this way, I could build off this way or this way. Yeah, this could work. This could work so easily. Well, not easily. It's a lot of work, but uh, let's do it right now. Let's tear the walls down. I might regret this really badly. Oh my gosh, this looks so weird. Well, update, we're not totally done yet. We're still chopping, but this just looks so crazy to me. It's just like an open strip of land here. And you'd think, oh, Farzi, it's just some little small area, who cares? But if we turn up this way, you see every ounce of land is being used by something in the kingdom. So to have unused land inside the walls is just so weird to me. But carrying on, I'm super excited for this because I was thinking this was my favorite build to work on. And no, not the giant treehouse, not actually that, but the custom jungle around the treehouse. You'll see all the flowers, the mushrooms, the custom trees here. I built this all myself. Oop, grass block. And there, man, I hate you. But yeah, I just loved building this and I just love building nature in general. I think building like dense jungles is really fun for me, so I love this and I wanna do more of that today, hopefully. Look at this, this is my down tree. I had like a chopped down or naturally fallen down jungle tree. I'm so creative. Enderman, why do you do this? Stop picking up blocks. Oh, he despawned. But yeah, you guys get my thoughts here. I just wanna build more nature stuff and maybe have some sort of like integration into the kingdom or maybe like there's some houses that are like worn down or ruined here by the edge where the jungle is. I'm just thinking maybe not, but uh, I don't know, I'm just spitballing. I like to think out loud. But now the question is, where's this kingdom gonna link up? It probably could go all the way down here. Gotta find the next like tower. Oh, there's no tower here. Oh, where's the next tower? Oh, it's down there. We can make this work. Just have this wall come like this way and then wrap around where the ocean is and go out there and over there and all over the place. Well, in that case, there's still a lot of shopping to do. So uh, I'll be back shortly. <laughs> Would you give it a rest? Who are you? Where even is this guy? 
hate mobs. I would just go on peaceful mode, but I've been locked on hard mode for the last five years of my life. Hey, I'm happy I plan hard mode. It makes the game more challenging and more fun, but sometimes, like right now, I wish I could go peaceful mode. Okay, I can already tell mobs are spawning like ridiculous. I got a special job for you that involves killing mobs, which apparently you suck at. All right, you are gonna stay right here and you're gonna defend the land. Okay, I gotta stop stalling. I was just being super lazy. I did not wanna tear down all these blocks, but then I realized this is your job, Farzee, so either break the blocks or quit YouTube. And we all know what I chose. Guys, I'm so sorry I quit YouTube, but I just can't do this anymore. Aha, you got fooled, you ding dong. I'm not quitting, I broke the wall down. Look, it's gone. Also, where's an LA when I need one? But yeah, my inventory is just about full, but look at all this open greenery, all this open land, the hotel. I did again. Nate, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I keep doing this. The hospital, the hospital, the hospital. I keep calling it a hotel because my brain is so small and insignificant, it's insane. But yeah, here is the wall that's left and I'm gonna probably extend the wall straight this way. This is gonna be the plan right down here. But all this open land, oh, we got so much space, so much real estate, so many blocks despawning because I'm talking too much. But that being said, now I wanna go start building some more grassy stuff. As I was just talking about, I really enjoyed building all this nature-y stuff. So I wanna go get maybe some flowers and some moss and kind of expand the jungle area a little bit closer to these houses. And what better place to go than the automatic flower farm? If you guys don't know, you can duplicate flowers pretty easily. You just make a little machine with a lever, some redstone, and a redstone torch. Put some bone meal inside of this big thing, flick the lever, and the flower duplicates. It is magic. But I love this farm because I can get a stack of flowers in like 10 seconds. So I had a few of these gardens here with flowers in it, but I didn't get to finish it because I had a wall here. So maybe I can kind of loop these around and finish them off like so. I love these little gardens here. They're so cute when you put like flowers around leaves. It's such a nice little garden. That's a pro builder tip. Throw some moss down, get our first moss in the gym. Jungle looking magnificent. Okay, I'm actually a little bit overwhelmed right now. I'm not gonna lie because there's a lot of space here and I don't wanna just cover it up with all grass and leaves and stuff right away. Cause the whole point of this was to make more buildings. So maybe I'll leave this open and as I make buildings, then I'll start to kind of, you know, mix things together, make it look a little bit more uh, smoothly transitioned. You guys like this? It's my beacon boulder. It's my beak, beak dirt, my bold, Done. It's a beacon inside of a bunch of rocks, okay? It's pretty cool. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I might be biting off more than I can chew. Do I potentially include these outer islands here into the kingdom? Okay, I'm not gonna do it yet, but let me know down below. Do you think I should expand the kingdom even more, like out over here in this direction? Well, in the meantime, I guess I can start plotting out the future wall just like a little bit. I might have to kind of deforest a little bit of this jungle, but I'll make it back up. I'm gonna expand this place a lot more. But as I do this, guys, tell me, what is your favorite part about the new update coming out? I know Minecraft Live was a few days ago, but I'm still super excited about all the new news, so I'm curious, what's the community saying? Are you excited for the underground cities, the frogs, the fireflies? Like, I think the obvious answer is underground cities, but I'm also really pumped to have a new blocks like mud and new wood types. I am just so stoked for this update. Like, I cannot wait. Now, I know I told you guys to comment down below if you want me to expand, you know, the kingdom to this area, but I have a feeling you're all gonna say yes. I mean, who would say no, Farsi? Don't expand your giant kingdom even more. A loser would say that. So I really gotta think about how I'm gonna do this. Like, would I need to go to this tower here and, like, engulf the this whole thing then come back over here. It's just it's a lot of planning. It's a lot of planning right now. But I'll play the game. I'll wait until I see your comments before I do anything. But I know the comments are gonna say, Farzi, expand it more. Because again, who would not want me to do that? This actually hurts my soul. I have to chop down a jungle tree. Oh, this is actually horrifying. My poor jungle. No, not the fossil. No, please, please don't be in the way of the fossil. Two, three. Oh, it just might survive. And boom, the outline of the wall is done. It goes from there, comes all the way around around here, goes all the way over there, and somewhere across that water you can see it finishes up. Fight, fight, fight! I vote you, you're gonna win, do it. 
do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, I do think for now I'm gonna leave the walls be just because I don't want to build up a big wall and then decide to expand the kingdom and tear it all down. So for now, we're gonna keep it just at the outline and very shortly we're gonna make it big and massive and amazing. So exciting. But with all the boring stuff out of the way, I got a pretty fun idea and it involves TNT. If I were a piece of TNT, I would be in this chest with the TNT on it. Not a ton, but I'll take it. And I'm getting all this stuff because I have a strong urge to go netherite mining. And I want to go do this because I did not realize how good TNT is for mining that stuff. I've always used beds, which is pretty good, but TNT apparently, if you make like a big line of it, just gets you so much ancient, deb ancient debris. Can't speak. And I can make... That's not a lot of TNT. I need more gunpowder. I thought I'd need more sand, if anything. Where's gunpowder? I have my creeper farm out over in this direction on the other side of the ocean bridge, so maybe I'll have some in there. Fingers crossed. Now, what do we got for gunpowder as I come down here? Do I have any? Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, nether lab. How you doing? I really hope they never add new nether mobs because I don't want to have to expand this thing even more. This is low-key one of my best builds I've ever done. It's just so, like, unique and cool and yeah. I mean, not to brag, but you know. All right, so I usually do my netherite mining like over near the spawn that way, but I kind of want to go somewhere else so I can find like a new open area. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Maybe somewhere over this direction. I like the look of down here. All right, wish me luck. Hopefully no lava. I think. Oh, I hear lava. I definitely- Oh, good thing I didn't do that! This is turning into like a whole adventure now, but I'm going over here to this other area, which has a lot of low flat land, so maybe this could work. Well, things happened. Things happened. Okay, where's my escape plan? Is there a room down here? You know what? Let's wing it. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, ancient debris, come to me! Go, 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 do it, do it, do it, yes, oh, 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 uh, oh, 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 oh! You see that? I see some. Wow, that worked great. I will be taking both of you. Thank you very much. Okay, give me more ancient debris. Go, 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 go. Do it again. Do it again. Do it. Do it. Do it. Holy, oh my, two more. Here's the thing. I've never done this before because I never had a creeper farm until recently. But now that I have a creeper farm, we can do this all the time. This is amazing. I don't want to spoil it, but in the next couple of weeks, maybe months, I have a really sick build idea. And it's going to be a massive project. But again, no spoilers. Let me throw these little puppies in here and get some, what are they called, scraps? I actually don't need to use any of this right now. I have like a full set of netherite tools and armor. I just kind of want to have some in a chest because right now I have no extra netherite. And I don't know, it just kind of feels cool to, you know, flex some in a chest. Give me that. Usually for these episodes, I have some big master plan and I just do that and then end the episode. But today, we're kind of chilling out so I can do some, you know, more relaxing things like find out where this horse went. I swear I had another horse in here. I definitely had another horse in here. How are my bees doing? No one here? Okay. Well, guys, that's gonna be about it for me today, but I do just want to apologize one more time for the episode not being, you know, too, too productive. Like, as I already mentioned, I was a little bit burnt out from all the Minecraft live excitement, so I kind of needed a day just to recharge and relax and rest, so this was kind of like my rest day. But yeah, every day I end the episode by getting a comment of the day, which I put in a giant rainbow called the comment rainbow. So let's go grab the comment of the day. And today in the comment rainbow, we have a new comment by a not-so-new commenter who left a really funny comment and the commenter's name is Reese Morgan and Reese Morgan says I've been watching for a while but I love how your editor is slowly becoming player two on this channel and I agree I think it's so funny that Nate is coming into the videos and interrupting and making fun of me I'm joking, Nate, you're fired. But no, I love him. I love how the videos are coming out. So shout out to you, Nate, and shout out to you commenters who are leaving amazing comments and watching the video and making my life amazing. But yeah, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.